Hi, welcome to Tag Arcade. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to submit an app from Unity 3D to the Apple App Store. So in order to do that, you have to first go into the developer.apple.com website. Once you're there, let's go ahead into the member center and sign in. Uh, once you do that, go ahead and click on iTunes Connect and then the My Apps once it loads. Okay, so within My Apps, you can click on the plus sign on the top right-hand corner for a new app or top left-hand corner for a new app, or you could simply update your existing one. So if you click on the plus sign and go to new app, uh, go ahead and fill in all your information about it. But you have to make note of this bundle ID. This bundle ID has to be put into X, not Xcode, but yes, it does have to be put into Xcode, but it has to be put into Unity 3D in order for Apple to accept your submission. Uh, so make note of that bundle ID. And for now, I'm just going to hit cancel. And we're going to change the iTunes, not iTunes, we're going to change the Unity settings. So if you build Unity with the default settings for iOS, you're going to run to this error message. It's going to be missing the 64-bit support. So in order to get 64-bit support, we have to go into our build settings and to player settings. And we're going to scroll down to where it says the other settings and the scripting backend. So by default, it's set to Mono2x, but we, we need to change that to IL2CPP. But once you do that, scroll down to the bottom, and for architecture, you have to change it from ARM version 7 to universal. And remember that bundle identifier I mentioned earlier? That has to go right here, and it has to match up. Once you're done, go ahead and click on the build setting and save your project to wherever you need it to be on your computer. So in my example, I'm going to say Xcode.eva. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and open up Xcode. OK, so I'm still waiting for Xcode to open. Uh, but yeah, so within Xcode, once it's open, you have to now archive your project for submission. So in order to do that, we're going to go to Products at the top and go to Scheme and edit the scheme. Uh, the scheme we're going to edit is the archive one. And we're going to give this archive a more meaningful name. We'll call it .evade, for my example, version 1.1. And then we're going to hit Close. Once you're done, you're going to hit Product again and click on Archive. And this will build the archive. Once the archive is done, it should open the organizer window. And if not, you can go up to Window and click on Organizer. Within Organizer, you should see your archive build. And on the right-hand side, there is a button to say Upload to App Store. Do not click this button because I've wasted a lot of time trying to get this to work. Uh, sometimes the error is due to iTunes fail to authenticate, or sometimes it's with symbols or other problems. And it's just so unreliable. Uh, so instead, we're actually going to click on the Export button on the right-hand side. So when you click on Export, you want to save it for iOS App Store development. Go ahead and click on Next. And then select what your provisioning profile is, choose it, and it's going to build your IPA file. This IPA file will be placed on the desktop with whatever you called it, along with the date stamp. Once that is done, you can now upload that to the um, iTunes Connect. And the way you do that is you have to go into Xcode, go to, go to Developer Tools, and go to Application Loader. Once that opens, go ahead and sign back in to your iTunes account. Okay. Uh, click on Deliver Your Apps and click the Choose button. Go ahead and navigate to your uh, IPA file and hit Open, and it'll begin the upload process. And more than likely, this upload process should succeed. 
And once it's done, you actually have to go back into uh, the iTunes Connect on the website. It does take about 30 minutes uh, for, at the very least, 30 minutes for iTunes Connect to recognize that build. It could take, sometimes it takes like an hour, sometimes it could take longer. But the fastest I've had it done was 30 minutes. And I personally wait an hour. But yeah, once that's completed, go ahead and go back to your game and click on the third option, which is normally you should say waiting to submit app or app submission, something like that. But once you do that, scroll down to where your build is. And normally on the build, there should be a plus sign over here. So click on the plus sign, select the build that you just uploaded, fill in the rest of your iTunes Connect information, and hit Submit App for Review. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it. Or shoot me an email directly at, to media at tagrk.com. Or like and subscribe to this. And until next time, have fun and keep on creating games.